This is a situation all air crew want to avoid, but if they find themselves downed in water, the best chance of survival is getting out of it while they wait to be rescued. The sea survival drills are practiced by air crew personnel at this state-of-the-art facility at RNAS Yeovilton at least once a year. So ideally the old crew want to be together, so safety in numbers as it is, so they can look after each other. So if they can get into the multi-seat life raft and work as a team in that survival scenario, that would be better for them. So that's what we simulate by doing the first drill, get all the group together, work as a team and go through those drills in that environment. Wind, rain and wave machines allow the training teams to make the scenarios as challenging as possible. This is only the second time that I've been here for this facility. Um, I've been in the Navy for 28 years, so I've, I've done these drills many times, uh, but we used to do it a different way, and this is only the second time that I've experienced this. I think it's really good because they can introduce the weather and the waves and they can control the conditions, uh, whereas the, the way it was done previously down at Cold Rose and in Falmouth Bay, you got what you got on the day. So, um, yeah, this really useful training, very useful to refresh all the techniques and procedures. Left hand side operation, okay, take your right hand. We're going to go for that rib cage to knee movement, full arm extension all the way down and through. Okay, then inflates his life reserver, so he's a little bit happier now at this point, his brain's starting to process. Not all the training takes place in the pool. The students are taken through all the kit and how it operates in the classroom first, but the test is applying it in the water. This needs to be like riding a bike from. In the highly unlikely event it does happen, okay, they need to be able to do it second nature, not have to necessarily have time to think about it, they need to be able to do it. So they'd come through here on a 12 monthly basis and we just sort of hammer those drills home. So again, like I said, it is just like riding a bike for them. The majority of those who come on the Sea Survival course haven't had to use what they learn, but for others, it's a different story. Many years ago, I got uh, chased off a flight deck by a Sea King, which decided to spin. Um, luckily, I went over the side of the ship with a tail rope does chasing behind me. So I, I found myself off Scotland, 10 o'clock at night, in the cold and wet. I don't really remember doing everything. It just happened automatically, um, and it you know worked straight away. Flares going up. Um, life jacket going off, bit of an unnerving feeling, sort of sitting there <coughs> in, the, in the middle of the sea, sort of ship disappearing in the distance. 700 students a year complete this course to prepare them should the worst case scenario happen. Claire Sadler, Forces News, RNAS Yeovilton.